hello. Time to adjust my camera. Might help. And zoom out. How's everybody doing? Are we doing good? There we go. Sort of. I can move over a little. Hello. Pixie and Jane and Shelly and Robin. And Bewitched. Hello, Bewitched. Are you new to the live stream? To my live stream? I'm mixing my gesso. And then I'm going to gesso my page quickly while everybody's still coming in. And I've got a glob. We don't like globs. No globs allowed. Get them the hell out of my painting. Sneaky globby bastards. Hi, Kendra. This is Kendra's favorite thing to do now. She loves this mixed media mashup, don't you? I do too, so who am I kidding? I just lately have been pushing it off because of this, that, or the other. Mostly because I've got uh, energy, so I've been in the middle of projects. But I'll get myself evened out there at some point. Guess what I'm doing this weekend? I'm going somewhere. I'm so excited. I'm actually going somewhere. Not like, not nothing fancy. You'll be like, oh. <laughs> but for me, it's fancy. I'm getting to go to the flea market this weekend and walk around something I would never have been able to do literally two weeks ago. I'm going to the flea market. Not only am I going to the flea market to walk around, afterwards, we're going to look at RVs just to look around, just to have something to look at because, you know, I want to get an RV after I sell the house. So I'm going to, we're going to go look at, you know, fancy RVs just for the fun of it. Doesn't that sound exciting? To me, that's ex the most exciting thing because I haven't done anything like that in close to a year, over a year. So I haven't been able to go anywhere and do anything like that in a long, long time. And how did I miss that spot when I gessoed? That's where my finger will come in handy. I missed the whole spot here because I'm not paying attention. But guess who doesn't care? And is using my fingers like a two-year-old. Me. If you didn't notice, it was me. Hi, Eva. Is it Eva or Eva? Hi, Robin. Hi, um, hi, Sharon. Yeah, I love doing all that stuff. I just haven't been able to because of being sick. So... It's exciting to think that I'll have the energy to go walk around this huge flea market, which is not something I would have been able to do before at all. I would never have been able to dream it. So I'm so excited. So, so, so excited. Let's see what kind of mood I'm in today. Put my thumb on the mood reader. <laughs> I keep it at my desk. <laughs> yeah, she, if, if you want to say something specific to me, make sure you put it in all caps. But if you're just talking to the people, other people in the chat, then just use normal, normal uh, caps or not caps. I am relaxed with a little bit of calm. That's good. It looks darker on the on the video. I could tell. It looks like it says I'm stressed, but I'm not. <laughs> it's not showing the blue color. But I am relaxed. I do have to make sure that I am off of the computer by 11 o'clock tonight. Because I have to go cook a steak because I wanted to do it earlier. Got sidetracked. Then Chris came home and I said, well, I'll just cook it the day after tomorrow. And he's like, no, please make it tonight. And I'm like, yeah, but if I make it tonight, I won't be able to do it till like at least 11 o'clock. He's like, that's fine. So I'm going to have to get off here about 11 o'clock and make a steak. And I got a hair in my thing already. Isn't that lovely? Hi, Linda. Hi, Bev. Hi, Deborah. Hi, Angela. Hi, anybody I didn't. Hi, Night um, Night Owl. Yeah, I'm excited this for Saturday. And hopefully Chris doesn't screw it up because he has a tendency to go out Friday nights and then not come home till really late and then sleep all day. So if he does that, I'm going to be really upset. And I already told him that if you do that, I'm going to be pissed. So... All right, I'm going to hit this with the heat gun real quick, and we will get started. 
I almost never work in this book that often because it just seems like I always want to use whatever I create so I don't put it in here. But I realize if I want to use it, I can just rip it out of here. It's just a book. That's why I almost like I used to keep like an art journal. And then I kind of stopped doing that because I started doing things and wanting to rip things up and use it for collage and stuff like that or make little embellishments with. I got into that. And so I stopped doing art journaling, but I'm actually going to get back into it because now I've got that Jane Davenport journal. I still have my um, Diane Reevely journal, which I still haven't even touched. So those two journals are about to get some use because we're going to be doing some art journaling and we might do another live stream during the week um, of just art journaling where we don't use our prompts. We're, we're going to just, I'm just going to do art journaling and you can do art journaling along with me. Um, and we're just going to do that because that's like, you know, the prompts are good, but eventually, you know, like I don't want you guys to be dependent on the prompts because eventually I want you to be able to pick your own things to do. So I figure if we start doing some art journaling, it'll kind of force you to pick stuff of your own and hopefully you won't just copy what I do, but I think that will be a lot of fun. We're going to get started pretty quick here tonight. When that happens, I'm screwed. No, you're not, Kendra. You will be fine. See, this is what I mean. I don't want you to be only using the art prompts. you got to be using your own creativity and your own head sometimes, too. Art prompts are fun to get you started and to get you into it, which I feel like it has. Because a lot of people that I feel like are doing mixed media mashup with me are people that never have done a lot of mixed media or a lot of art journaling and now all of a sudden they're doing it because of the cards but you know we've been doing it for a couple months now and I feel like you could do a page on your own um, and I'll help you through it I mean I'll help you like because like with the mixed media mashup you don't have to think we just slop stuff down it doesn't matter we're not thinking with an art journal you have you think a little bit more and it makes you think a little bit more of placement and like the, the value of threes where you put things in threes or fives, it looks better when it's an odd number, this, that, and the other. So, oh yeah, I'm still feeling good. Thanks, Suzanne. I am definitely still feeling good. Hi, Elizabeth. That is a long last name, Elizabeth. Franz Mandel. Franz Mandel? Is that how it said? I feel bad for you that you have to write your signature because it's really long. Elizabeth is long enough, and then that last name is really long. But I'm sure you're used to it, so it's no big deal. You'll be fine. I'll walk you through it, and you'll get the hang of it. Okay, so I'm going to pick the first card. I hope you guys are all ready and got your pages gessoed and are ready to go. Who's working with us tonight? Let me know. Put a poodle if you're put a poodle icon if you're working, or just say you're working with us tonight. Hi, Inky. Hi. Oh, hi, Inky. Oh, hi, Inky. <laughs> I thought she was talking about actually inking something. I'm like, what? Yes, hi, inking pieces. The poodle pack is in the house. Hi, Shelly. Shelly's working with us. Kendra's working with us. Arlena's working with us. Mrs. P, she says. <laughs> That's funny. Robin's just watching. That's good. Linda's working with us. Jane's working with us. Oh, Aunt Beck can't stay long tonight. That's all right. We'll give you quality content while you're here. <laughs> Eva's just watching. And if you haven't already, hit the like, bu like button below. And we're going to pick our first card. What do you paint and ink sprays? Actually, I'm going to switch this over so we're only concentrating on one page. Paint and ink sprays. So get your paints, whether they're homemade or they're store bought, doesn't matter. 
Let me move my camera a little bit. There we go. I like to have a little bit of this space showing because sometimes I pull things forward and I don't intend to do it, but I do it. So, you know. So we're going to get our sprays out and just start making a mess. That's the best way to do it. And I'm going to just grab whatever's in front of me. I don't even care. Don't care. I'm just grabbing these because they're right in front of me. I don't even know what I made these of now. Uh, what did I use to make these? I don't remember. Mm -hmm. Why don't I remember these things? Oh, but they're my three favorite colors. <laughs> if Seeker was here, she might remember what I made, what I used to make these. Alrighty. And then we've got a baby wipe, and I'm going to get the drips off that so it doesn't make a mess. Okay, and now I'm going to dry it. But I really like these spray bottles. They're called mini misters. I don't even know where I got these. I think somebody gave them to me in a happy mail, I want to say. It was, I think it was a three pack. I don't remember. I don't think I bought them. Um, but yeah, I love them. They're great for just making little amounts of uh, color. Back in So what's Marta's latest project? I was just on her thing yesterday, but I, if it was in the group, I didn't see it. I'm just going to take this and go like that. Get any drips up. Um, and Tammy, uh, you're Tammy Barker, right? Tammy too? Yeah, same person. I always get confused, but I'm pretty sure it's the same person. I just sent you a happy mail today, so you'll have it in a couple days. I think they said the 24th. I can't remember. Tammy too, I'm talking to. Um, what's Marta's latest project? I love Marta. I've been watching her for a long time. Tammy was sweet back back when I was really sick and I couldn't afford to get the 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 supplies I needed she she sent me a whole box of stuff of or, you know supplies I needed like a whole thing of what was it wipes or pads or both or something but she sent me everything I needed and it was so sweet of her and I've been meaning to get this little happy mail out to her and I finally was able to get it out there Oh, okay. Yeah. Paint and hot glue. I've done that. I did that in a video. I can't remember when that was. It was last year. I did a video where you put your texture down with hot glue and then you paint over it. Um, we did a, I think I did like tree branches or something. And, oh, a challenge with the ATCs and alphabet. Yeah, I did see that. That was cool. Okay, 
Is everybody ready? Because I'm going to pick another card. Unless you're not, let me know. You're sending out seven happy mails, Bev? Wow, you've been busy. <laughs> busy, busy lady. Happy mails make you happy. <laughs> well, in our group, they're called poodle packages. But they're still happy mail. Same thing. Same difference. You've only gotten one happy mail? Well, now you're going to have two. I've been lucky I've got a lot of happy mail, which has been so nice, especially when I didn't feel good. It was so nice to get happy mail. It was like the only thing that would make me happy. I would I would think, oh, please let there be even just like a card or something. It would just make me happy. It would make me smile for the day. It was so nice. You've never received one, Bev. Oh, we're going to have to change that, woman. <laughs> okay, I'm going to pick the next card. Next card is add strips of paper. So now we're going to add strips of paper. And I'm actually going to go find some paper. I'll be right back. what I can use. Goodness. We got that one. Let's see what else? We got that one. I got these strips of papers. Perfecto. Hard edges. Yeah, it's fun to put Happy Mail together. I love sending Happy Mail. I just don't, I, it's rare for me to be able to get it out lately because I don't have the money to send it. But what I usually will pack up a bunch of stuff and then, um, and I'm just using homemade Mod Podge, which is Elmer's glue and water. Um, and then when I get a chance, like that's why Tammy's took so long because I've been holding on to it and holding on to it and holding on to it. And I was like, oh, now I can get it out. <laughs> I can get it sent out, you know, because I'll try to do it as soon as I have a few dollars extra because I got my electric bill paid and I had about $8 extra to... And I took the adva I took advantage of it just so I can get a couple happy mails out. And I still have two dollars. Now these inks like to run a little bit when I put the glue on, so you just got to be conscious of that because you might have that issue. Because mine, I guess, are water soluble; they're not permanent. So I'm being careful as I glue it on not to spread the, and I'm cleaning off my brush often so I don't contaminate my glue. Yours might not do that, but mine do. I'm going to do this strip with the holes. I'm just going to leave it like that. As long as you just don't like go back and forth too much and you just put the what you need to put down, it'll be fine. And then I clean off my brush and go back into the glue. A little tedious, but it's better than ruining my project completely and my glue, too. And 
Yeah, my goal was to be able to eventually send a card to everybody on their birthday um, in the group. Um, that's the goal. I have to get to the point where I can do that, where I can afford to do that, which should be after I sell the house, which shouldn't be too far. Just a few more months. I, well, I, you know, you guys, some of you guys know I wasn't planning on opening the group until I moved. Um, but so many people had requested for me to open it. You know, I wish you had a group. I wish you had a group. And I was like, you know what? I'll open it. It's just going to be not going to be exciting until after I sell the house. Then we'll do more like once I get settled, we'll do more swaps and we'll do all kinds of stuff. my thing is in here. See how it's like spreading my paint a little bit, which I don't mind. It just adds a little something extra to it. So that doesn't bother me. I just have to keep cleaning off my brush so that it doesn't spread more than it should or have to. It just adds dimension. I think that's all the strips of paper I'm going to put on mine. Or should I put some dictionary pages? Let me see. Let me find one that's already kind of. What's the little ones I have? I have a piece. Oh, maybe I don't have a piece. I don't know. Let's see if I want that on here. Um, where am I moving? Or um, I'm moving as, as soon as I'm able to, <laughs> well, I mean, we have to put the house up for sale yet, so, yeah, maybe that would look cute right there. Um, we have to put the house up for sale, which we have some things that we have to do, it's just I've been sick, and, you know, of course, Chris is like the laziest person on the planet, so he can't do anything without me holding his hand and doing it for him, so... <laughs> But we need to take care of some landscaping outside, and um, and then I need to have a yard sale because I'm getting rid of stuff. I have everything down in the basement that I want to get rid of, and we're going to have the yard sale at the beginning of May. And then once we have the yard sale, then it's just going to be getting the yard taken care of, which will cost a couple of hundred dollars to have somebody like really come out and you know probably a good five hundred dollars to have somebody come out and just mulch some areas and clean it up a little bit and then after that we just have to do some cleaning on the inside so we're looking at probably putting it up around August and in this time it'll give me my body time for my medicines all to kick in better and things to be where it needs to be so it'll probably go up on the market in August that's probably my prediction at this point all right, I'm gonna dry this It's like almost 3,000 square feet. Um, it's got a full basement with two bedrooms down there, like a finished basement with two bedrooms. Um, and then the upstairs has three bedrooms. It has a really big master bedroom. It has a deck off the master. And then it's got a wraparound deck around the whole house. And it's a hexagon-shaped house. It's like, it's a nice house. It's just, I mean, we were able to afford it when we were together. And then when we split up, I was able to afford it by myself because at the time I had my business and I made decent money and then I got sick and then Chris moved back in and it's been a struggle and he can't afford it by himself. So we've been struggling, struggling, struggling. So yeah, no, I haven't filed yet, but I'm actually going to be going to a lawyer soon to take care of that. I'm not going to just file because you never get approved the first time. You have a better chance with a lawyer and it'll be quicker process and I won't have to deal with, you know, a lot of bullshit. Excuse the French. So <clears throat> anyway, are we ready to pick the next card?
um, there's a file you can get in our group. There's a Facebook group. And it's, if you look it up on Facebook, it's Pink Poodle Pack Creative Playground. And in that group, there's a file that you can get and, and you can download all the cards. And there's even if you're not in the group, there's a way to get it. Um, I don't have the link offhand. But if you email me at pinkpoodlecrafts at gmail.com, I can send you the cards. I could do it that way. I could send you the file. And then you print them out and then you make them yourself. You can use old playing cards. You can make your own cards. But you just take, you know, or you could just use a piece of cardstock and do it this way. These are just some ones that I threw together quick. But these are the ones I laminated. So then you can go through the trouble of laminating them too. But the prompts themselves, you can download. I, I can send them to you if you email me. Hi, Cheryl. I didn't see you come in. Hi, Diane. There's a lot of people I haven't seen come in. So hello to you all. What's the ad book strips or pieces of paper? Was that ad book strips? Yeah, it was um, ad strips of paper, so any paper. This is the only things we've done so far. Paint and ink sprays um, and ad strips of paper. So just take any paper you want and just throw strips down. Just rip it into strips or you can cut it if you want it to be straight. Hi, Robbie. How are you? Thanks for joining us. Is this your first time? If you want to join in and, and create with us, just grab a piece of um, any kind of paper you got or a piece of cardboard and you can do the two things that we did and that's put some paint and ink sprays down or, oh, thank you, Tammy, and add strips of paper and you'll be caught up. And then we're going to pick another card. Hi, Malika. Hi, Kelly. I'm on the ball, Kelly. I got your thing out immediately today, which is shocking. Um, your card, yours and um, the other girl. What was her name? It started with a K, too. Karen. I got both of you guys out today. And I got um, Malika. Yours is going out. I couldn't send Chris with yours. I, I'm going to send yours out. But I couldn't send it with Chris because he would have had to fill out a, um, fill out a, what do you call it, um, the customs form. So I couldn't send it out, send him to do it because he has no idea what that is and wouldn't know how to do it. And he would get frustrated and mad at me. So I'm going to take it up myself. Um, we might do that if we get out of the house early on Saturday. So um, that'll be the next time I'll have the car. Waiting on what a long time? To feel better? Yes, definitely. <laughs> that is definitely the truth. All right, I'm going to pick another card. Because like I said, I've got an hour to get this done. <laughs> add hearts. Ooh, you know what? I have the perfect hearts to add. Now, this means you can draw them. You can stamp them. You can paint them. You can add heart pieces of paper, anything you want. Punch them out and throw them on. Let's see, what do I got here? I know I got hearts in this box right here that were sent to me. That would be perfect. And I haven't had a time or a chance to use them. This was a swap from like a year ago. And it was just to cut up some hearts and, and send them. So I think I'm going to use those there. And then let's see, do I have other hearts that are smaller? I don't know. I don't think I do. I don't, do I have a heart punch? I may or may not have a heart punch. Well, that would be tragic if I didn't. Let's see. Do I have a heart punch? Um, yes, I do. Oh, goody. Oh, goody. It's a little hard, but that's good. Okay. Add hearts. 
I think I'm going to ink mine around the edges before I do it. In, let's do purple. Call you T? All right, Mrs. T. <laughs> I'll call you T. I'll forget to call you T. I know I will. I think I'll need something else on that one. A little darker, maybe some black. This is darker. Hi D Justice, how are you? Let's see. And then we can take this paper here and cut some more hearts out. Hi, David. Who's David? Who am I saying hi to? <laughs> Hello, David. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, I've moved about that many times too, Jane. I've become a very good packer myself. I'm very efficient and quick. Like my friend was packing her house and I said I'd come over and help her. And she was like, oh, you know, it'll probably take us a couple days to get the living room and kitchen packed up. I was like, no, it won't. It'll take about two hours. And I had her whole living room and her whole kitchen packed in two hours. She was like, what the hell? I'm like, I told you I'm fast. I don't know if I'd be that fast now, but that was a couple years ago. But yeah, I'm a, I'm a fast packer. I get stuff done. I'm fast at unpacking, too. Like, Chris would always be shocked whenever we would move. And, of course, he had to go to work. And I was able to take more time off because, of course, I own my own business. And he would always be shocked because he would come home from work and, like, half the house was completely unpacked and decorated. Alright, come on. Stick down. I know you're thicker, but don't be a jackass. Don't be a hero. Same with you. You need to stick. Now everybody's saying hi to David. He's my friend who watches with me. Well, hi, David. You're 72, 72 years young. Are you cute? Do you need a girlfriend? <laughs> All right. Stick down, stick down, stick down, stick, stick, stick. Obey my orders. Nobody obeys my orders. I'm just going to put these on haphazardly. Haphazard. Haphazard. Yeah, I hate moving too, Bev. Not my favorite thing to do. That's why I try to do it as fast as possible to get it over with. Hopefully it won't be too bad this time because I won't, if I'm, you know, because I'm going to be moving into a uh, fifth wheel RV, 
And since, uh, since that's the case, I won't be taking a lot of things with me. So I won't have to move a lot of bulk, which is good. Of course, everything in my craft room is going. That's like priority number one. But I will have an out. Uh, it'll be like a shed that's converted into a room with air conditioning and everything. And that will be my, and it's going to be 10 by 12. And it will be my studio. And that will be outside my lot where my RV is. That's hopefully the plan if everything goes smoothly because I've already got the place picked out. Everything, it's just everything, the house has to sell and everything has to go well. So, and I, I don't, I know I won't have any problem selling my house because this area right now is very hot and realtors are dying to get their hands on houses over here, which is pretty good. Good deal. I'm glad I didn't sell it three or four years ago. Would never have gotten the amount that I want but now that this is a hot commodity over here people are snatching the houses up around here because there there's not a lot of houses for sale because people like this area so when the house goes up for sale people jump on it and there's like bidding wars over them because this place is the, where I live it's like two square miles it's a very small but it's literally 25 minutes from the city so you've got like this country very resort looking area with mountains and pretty and trees and then you're only 25 minute commute to the city. So that's why people like it so much up here. On top of that, I live in one of the last remaining neighborhoods that has space between the houses. So the houses are set apart, which is another plus, which people love because the, the um, neighborhood was built in the 80s. So you know how they were built back then where they had lots of room, lots of yard space. So people love it up here. Yes, Maria, I'm buying, uh, hopefully if all goes well, I'm buying a lot um, in an RV park in Georgia that is gorgeous. It's like a resort. It's so gorgeous up there. And I'm buying a lot of my own. And um, yeah, putting a fifth wheel, not an RV, not one with a motor, but the kind that you pull behind and it has like the pop out sides. Um, it's big and it's it looks like a house on wheels. They're huge. And uh, yeah, I'm getting one of those. And... It has like a full king size, you know, bedroom, sometimes queen size bedroom in the back, full kitchen. Sometimes they have an island with a little bar you could sit at. I mean, they're, they're not small. And considering that I spend 99.9% .9 of my time in my craft room and then the rest of my time is sleeping on the couch, I, I'm good with small, small places. I've, I've always lived in small places. This house is actually the first big place I've lived, except for when I was a kid because my parents had a big house. But like when I lived on my own, I always had small places and I loved it. I was always more happy in a cozier space. This house was always way too much for me to handle, but we got it at such a good price. That's why we, because at the time the houses around here were going like really cheap. We got it for $140,000. It's a five bedroom house, almost 3000 square feet. You can't get that. You know what I mean? You can't even get that now, but that's why we jumped on it because it was a really good deal. And of course, at the time we were together, we both had good jobs and everything was going well. Neither of us was sick, you know, but we're not together anymore. And now I don't have a job and we're depending on Chris's income. And my, you know, YouTube money, which is not very much at all. Suzanne, Suzanne, you're in Georgia. This will be in North Georgia. It's like right by the border of, what is that, North Carolina? It's way up, way up at this very, very top of Georgia. Yeah, that's why I'm selling it like this year. It's going to be, because we have a lot, especially, I mean, our area is just really hot right now for young um, young people who are you know young families right now people want to move here like this is the hot area to move so we will not have a problem selling our house that's for sure it I guarantee it'll probably sell within a week from when we put it on the market most houses are selling within two days 
So I just say within a week. Where you live again, Jane? Yeah, most places, houses are a lot more expensive, but in Tennessee, it's still lower. Um, of course, this house is going to go for a lot more than 140000 now. We bought it and, it, and it appraised at one hundred and fifty-five, so it already had $15,000 in equity when we bought it. Um, so we were lucky. And from there, it's just gone up and up and up. Um, not all of them. We're, we're still working on some of them, but hopefully they'll all be done. Nothing major. It's all little stupid stuff. Oh, Maria, you have two tiny houses. Do you currently live in them? Or, like, that's cool. See, I, I, I would do a tiny house as long as I had one extra one that could be my studio. <laughs> oh, yeah, Phoenix. Yeah, Phoenix is expensive. Yeah, my niece, one of my nieces lives in Phoenix. I can't, I couldn't afford to live there. The deck is finished. It just needs to be finished painted. And it's just the bottom, like the part you walk on, that's the part that needs to be finished painting. So that's not a big deal. Um, we just need to get uh, the paint for it and, and finish that. So that's not too big of a deal. That shouldn't take more than a day. So... It's little stuff like that. It's nothing major. It's little stuff like that that need to get done. Um, so we'll do that over the course of the next couple of months. Even if we do like one thing every other weekend, we can get it done, you know. All right. Um, the town, crap. I, I, I never remember it offhand, what the town is. Um... Uh, I don't know what the name of the town is. I always forget, and I look at that website all the time, but I always forget. It's like a website that has this park, and they have, like, where you could buy all the thing, all the lots if you want to. Um, they have, like, things for sale, and they show it and all that stuff, but I always forget what town it is. But it's just North Georgia. It's in the mountains, pretty much. Okay, I'm going to pick another card. Are you guys ready for me to pick? Um, I could as is sell, but I wouldn't get nearly the money I need out of this house. I need to make a certain amount of money out of this house in order for me to be able to get my RV and my land. So that's the thing. Uh, so we have to make sure that it looks at least decent. I don't want to just sell it as is when we can fix the little things that it is. You know, those little things add up and I don't want to have to, you know, I want it to pass inspection. I want everything to go smoothly. So we have to do the little things that we need to do. Okay. Stencil. Okay, so grab a stencil and some paint and do some stenciling. I have to find a stencil. Actually, I want this one. I want this one. And I want some Metallica paints. A Metallica paints. And we'll do some purple metallic. Metallica paints. It sounds like a band. They, my paints sing death metal. Well, Metallica is just heavy metal. It's not death metal. I've actually seen Metallica in concert a couple times.
The nice thing about metallics is most of the time they're uh, translucent, so they're not opaque, so they don't take over your page, which is nice. You can still see kind of through it. It just adds a little colorful shine. Clean my stencil. So Marion, is David working on crafts too, or is he just listening? cards do you usually in, do in one set? Like, how many cards are there in the set total, or how many cards do we usually get through in a session? Today we're probably only going to get through, let's see, we're on our fourth card. We're probably only going to get through, I would say, three or four more cards in this session. But normally we would sit here and probably do, what, seven or eight, nine, ten cards or more. But you could stop at any time. Like I could stop right now, and this would be perfect. I can add a sentiment, you know, add a add some words, a quote, or something. Add a focal image. Just take an, you know, a, a graphic of some sort. You know, whatever I've got, I can add like a graphic and do something with it, and I could be done. You know. Oh, maybe. Are you two hours from North Georgia? That's not bad. You can come visit me. <laughs> I could probably find the, I could probably find the, um, hold on a second. I could find what town it is. Or at least I can try to figure it out. Hold on one second. I'll see if I can find it. Here it is. Hold on. Let me. My internet's being slow because I'm on the live stream, but I'm looking online. I can't see the chat right now. It is, let's see. What town is this? Uh, well, poop. What, where's the town? information. Let me see. Blairsville. It's in Blairsville, Georgia. It's Blairsville. So I don't know where that is in, in, in relation to you. All right. I'm going to pick another card. Well, let me run the heat gun over this real quick.
Yeah, it's it's right up at the top of Georgia. It's beautiful up there. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, okay, so let's pick another card. Collage or decoupage ephemera. That means you can add ephemera, which means more papers and things like that if you want to. I'm not going to do that, but you can if you want. If you feel like your paper, your page is still too sparse, add some more paper or ephemera or tickets or whatever you got. Receipts. You can add anything you want. I'm going to leave mine like that and I'm going to pick another card. Um, use stamps. Now that I'll do. So if you want, you can do both or either or, it's up to you. If you want to collage instead of using stamps, then do that. If you want to do both, do both. I'm going to do stamps. And you know what? I always forget about these stamps I have over here that were given to me in Happy Mail that I love. And they're really cool. I just need to go through and find some images that I can use for this. They stack. They're like stacked together. Here's some littler ones. Let's see, is there anything in here? Some of them are a little kitschy, like, you know, like an airplane or Christmassy. But I thought maybe there'd be something. There might not be like a standard shape. I might have to use something else. Yeah, they're kind of all like scenery stamps. Like there's an airplane and then there's like this, that, and the other. So maybe these wouldn't be the perfect thing for this. Let's see. I was hoping maybe. No, I guess I'm wrong. Anyway, I'm wrong. I was hoping there'd be like, like this is my favorite stamp. I always use this checkered stamp. I love it. I love it. Let's see, let's do some, let's do some white in this. beans. I like it. I like it a lot. And then I might find something else to stamp in black. Let's see. There, I've got some flowers. And stamp those and some stays on. Me? Yes, I do. I feel great tonight. I can't wait to cook a steak in a half hour because I love steak and that actually is good for my iron levels. So I try to eat steak once a week if I can. So that, and I got a good deal on a steak. I went to the store today. Um, we almost weren't able to pay our electric bill and then we were able to pay our electric bill and the money from like, I guess it's the money from the super chats and stuff finally went into my account from like over the past couple of like, what was it been a month or so that I've, that the super chats have been available. Well, that money went in and let me go to the store this morning before Chris went to work. I took his car up to the store and I was able to get milk and some juice and two steaks I found on sale for 10 bucks, two New York strip steaks. And they're nice and thick and big. And they're locally grown here in our town because we have a, like there's literally a slaughterhouse around the corner from us. And they provide the steaks to this little grocery store. Steaks, chicken, pork, all that kind of stuff. So I was able to get steaks for a really good price. And Chris is dying for me to make them. And I told him I would.
And I'll make steaks and corn on the cob because I have corn on the cob from when we went to Trader Joe's last week. And hopefully we'll be able to go back to Trader Joe's this, this coming week, which I'll be very excited about because I love Trader Joe's. The mini tacos, though, oh my god, from Trader Joe's are the best thing I ever ate in my life. They're, mi they're frozen mini tacos, and you throw them in the oven. I can eat, like, eight of them because they're little. They're like almost like appetizers. They're, like, this big. And you throw them in the oven for ten minutes, and you put a little side of sour cream, and you dip them in. Oh, they're to die for. They're so good. I like ribeye, too. I usually like ribeye better, but their ribeyes weren't as nice looking as their um, their New York strip was, so I got a New York strip. I switched between the two. I like ribeye. I like New York strip, but I do generally always buy ribeye. Every now and again, I'll get a New York strip, but the New York strip looked better than the ribeye this time. See, I don't like chicken as much. I like fried chicken. I like certain chicken dishes, but um, I like... I'm a beef eater, <laughs> but for me right now, that's good because my iron is, needs to stay up. So the more beef I can eat, the better. I know. I don't think I could ever be a vegetarian. I don't think that would happen. All right. Are we ready for the next card? Cause I'm going to pick it. I'm going to pick it. Magazine or book graphics and actually I just was going through my folder. Hold on. I'll go get it And I've got magazine or book graphics oh, that's nice. Not only do I have magazine or book graphics, but I've got a big mess on my floor now because I knocked over a box that had little stuff in it Oh, wow. See, I keep them in this folder, stuff that I've either cut out or liked whatever was on the page. I guess I like the old lady. <laughs> I don't know. And so I will keep it and go through it. I thought I had another one with smaller, smaller pictures, but maybe this is all the people. Yeah, I think this is all the people, right? Yeah. Although that's cute. <gasps> that would be cute. That's cute. I like that. And then there's a random frog. <laughs> I do like those girls. They kind of match my... They match my mojo going on with my page. So, if you don't... If you don't have a magazine or if, if you, you know, you don't have to use a big image. You can just use pieces. I'm just using this because I have it, and why not? I think I'm going to fussy cut it out, though. I think that's the plan. I think it'll look better if I fussy cut it out. So while I'm doing this, you could be digging through yours and see if you find anything that pops out at you that you could put on your page in an old magazine. doesn't matter what kind of magazine it is. It can be a Life magazine, it could be a Cosmo, People magazine. If you don't have a magazine, and if you have like a book maybe, you can, you know, or like another type of graphic, like a photo that you want to put down, something like that. Any kind of graphic will do. And like I said, you don't have to do a focal graphic like I am, like a big graphic. You can just do little things on your page. I just happen to have this one. Ha ha ha, her fish comes in sticks. That's how I am too. I don't like fish, but I do like crab meat. I like clams. I like crab meat. I like shellfish and, you know, that and that type of stuff but I don't like fish fish. I do, I'm okay with salmon if it's really, really cooked well. Like if I go to a fancy restaurant, I can handle a piece of salmon, but it's not something I would choose necessarily. But I'm, I'm just not a big fish eater. I like tuna fish okay. And every now and again, I like to have, you know, a tuna fish sandwich, but 
gotta have mayonnaise in it and stuff. Almost cut off her toes. Whoops. She wouldn't have been happy about that. <laughs> She'd have been like, you bitch, you cut off my toes. These are my favorite peep toe sandals. Busty cutting is so much fun. Such an interesting thing to watch somebody do to cut things out. Feel free to leave and come back in five minutes. I like fishing. I do like fishing. I used to go fishing a lot when I was a kid and I, I always enjoyed going fishing. Haven't done it in a really long time. around their shoes is the hardest part. Glad that stress is over with. back here. Yes, it's a har harlequin. Harlequin, my harlequin stamp. I also have a harlequin stencil that I like too. Oh, almost did a rhinoplasty. Cutting around her nose. Well, they're from Hollywood. They can use a little nose job. I'm a lot cheaper than some of the plastic surgeons. <laughs> so they're better off with me doing it. I'm not saying I'd do a very good job and they might not end up with a nose at all when they're done, but I'll be cheaper. Good enough. Whew. 
Okay. Now, we will put them there, and then we will give them something to sit on afterwards. Do I want them here? Because I want to put a, a quote or something. So maybe I'll put them here or here. Here. Or here. Maybe just down here in the middle. That's good. Oh, you're fasting? Are you having blood work tomorrow, Malika? Or sorry, Maria? My brain sees one name and then says another. That's sucky when you gotta fast all day. enough. I'm not going to go over top of it just because I don't want to spread the ink around. Maybe I'll go over it as lightly as I can. Okay, good deal. going to dry it. You getting your cast off? Awesome. Cheryl's finally getting her cast off. Does anybody need me to pick more cards or are we basically done? If you need me to pick more, let me know if you want me to pick some more. Because I'm good. I'm just going to outline them and add a quote and I'm good. But if you guys want me to add, you know, pick more cards for you, then, then I will do that. Yes, pick a card. Good night, Maria. Have a good night. I have no idea what magazine this came from. It probably came from either Cosmo or People or something like that. But I don't know because it was already out of the magazine by the time I got it. Um, or I cut it out, but I, I cut it out so long ago I don't remember what magazine. Yes, please. Okay, I'll pick a couple more so that you can choose from acrylic paint. So you can add a little paint if you want to do some finger painting and stuff. You can add some dimension, you know, like uh, add some like rhinestones or anything that's kind of dimensional. I'll just pick a few out and some markers and pens. Let's do those three for now. I'm going to do um, the markers and pens. Well, that ain't going to work. Because I want to mark around um, the ladies. So I'm hoping that I can find uh, something that will work for that. This should work. Actually, I want to use, should I use like a, a water soluble crayon? Yeah, that might be better instead of that. That ain't going to smudge for me as well. There we go. I got this cheapy art crayon one. And I think that'll work. Yep, that works good. Because I just want to do like smudgy. I want it to be real smudgy. Or I could use my Stabilo too. Well, I 
got it all over her face. <laughs> Luckily, they're water soluble. I was just trying to get in the crevice. That's all right, lady. I'll wash your face. Don't worry. I will wash it off, honey. Don't worry, hunty. I got you. I like to make them stand out. These ones are soft. Oh, you do, Jane? Good. Yeah, it's easy to make, and it does the purpose of what you need it to do, so, you know, and Mod Podge can be expensive. And when you're just gluing paper down, you don't need fancy Mod Podge. I have Mod Podge, but I most of the time use my own glue and water. The only time I like the Mod Podge products is for the things like the Sparkle Mod Podge, or the Dishwasher Safe Mod Podge, or the, um... Like I was using yesterday, I was using the napkin Mod Podge. I really like the napkin one. Because those are different formulas, and I don't know, exactly know how to make those myself. These are those uh, art crayons from Marabou that were sent to me to try out that I really like. They're very soft and creamy. I do like them. And luckily they are coming, they're going to be um, more readily available soon. But right now they're pretty much only available overseas. some ground to put their feet on and now I'm going to give them some some place to put their butt on I think I'm like boxing them in right here Kind of like a bench, sort of. It's sort of a bench. Mm-hmm. 
and away we go. Okay, there we go. Now my girls are standing out. Doing good, doing good. It will keep on smudging. Uh, it might dry. I don't know. I guess it'll smudge, but I'm going to spray it with a fixative, a spray fixative. So it don't matter. Does anybody need me to pick more cards than that? Or do you need any, you know, any other cards? Oh, I do have word stickers that I just printed. Let me get them out. Let me see what I got here. Oh, that'll work. I'm going to cut one out. These ladies look like they're successful. this out. <sighs> I'm just going to put that there. Hi, Lynn. I'm going to put a little bit of glue stick down just to be make sure that it stays stuck. Even though it's sticky back. a little bit, clean up any glue. And then we can dry it. And take our smudgy pen. and smudgy. Good deal. I'll even do a smudgy border around the whole thing. I 
did go over her foot though. <laughs> I like it. I like it. And then I'll take it outside and I will spray it with some uh, fixative. I've got a few different options. Um, add dimension. I could add some little gems or rhinestone things. That sounds like a plan. I can add a couple up here. Like that. That's too big for that flower. Do, do, do. Well, we'll just add it up here. And do one for that flower. And littler ones for the little flowers here. Like that. I'm just grabbing whatever color. I don't care. Colorful rhinestones. Let's put this one here. This one. There. And we'll take this one and put. No, never mind. That's a good one there. Here. Now I'll just get some glossy accents and pop those in place. Gotta have us some sparkle. Can't not have some sort of sparkle. Thanks, Diane. Oh, yep, it's about 11 o'clock. So I'm gonna stick these on. So did everybody get theirs done even though we only went for what an hour and a half? I apologize for going fast. But it also shows you that you don't have to. Oh, I'm not gonna end up putting stuff on this now because I forgot. I should have put that done that. <laughs> if I was gonna seal it, I should have done that beforehand, but it'll be in my journal, so it's okay. I might be able to seal it still lightly but anyway it just shows that you could do a quick you know I, I've done them in 30 minutes before you just plow through and do them with the prompt cards I hope you guys had fun and don't forget, we will do a live stream on Friday night. That'll be our pajama party. I'll show this up close a little so you can see. Not that it ever focuses for me or anything. It hates me. Yeah, definitely post pictures on the Pink Poodle group, Pink Poodle Pack group uh, of your creations tonight. I always forget to do that, but I will do it tonight after I eat my steak. I will post a picture of my creation. I hope you guys will too. Thanks for hanging out with me. Love you guys. Don't do anything I wouldn't do and all that good stuff. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Poodle Pack out. Bye. Thank you.